You should turn off your phone for at least five minutes every day. Now, this might seem like a bold statement, and I'm going to get into that in a couple of seconds, but you really should, and there are good reasons for that, especially for performance, but also for your device's security, and of course for your data security with all the vulnerabilities floating around. This video is brought to you by Any Unlock, a software that allows to unlock the screen passcode, bypass MDM, and even remove SIM lock. Definitely check the program out below. You can also find your Apple ID if you forgot it, and even do iDevice verifications check the program out below. All right, so as many of you probably know, iOS is not as secure as Apple wants it to be, or at least how they market it. There are vulnerabilities for iPhones. There are even zero-click iPhone vulnerabilities that act like spyware, so you don't need to do anything to get infected. You don't even need to open anything. You just receive like an iMessage, you receive it, not open it, and your device is infected, and the bad guys can extract all your data and stuff like that. It's been the case for iOS 16.5, and that's the reason why Apple released iOS 16.5 5.1 in such a hurry and you can see in here they only patch two things kernel vulnerability and a WebKit vulnerability, both of which it says Apple is aware of a report that this issue may have been actively exploited against versions of iOS released before 15.7 and stuff like that. So these have been used in the wild. These have been used to target people in various positions, in various domains and stuff like that to get their data. But that's not really the only reason you should turn off your phone for at least five minutes every day. Another reason has to do with how iOS works and how all devices work. Because this doesn't only apply for your phone. Right here, I have an iPhone and yeah it's a normal iPhone it's an older version but it is an iPhone and it works like any other iPhone this one happens to be jailbroken but yours may not and it doesn't have to be the thing is not only the applications you open like the settings and whatever and the photos and the reminders and stuff like that not only these applications stay open in the background iOS has a lot of processes and programs that run that keep the device alive that keep the device doing its thing like connecting to your cellular service Service, like downloading updates, like keeping your home screen alive, getting updates for your apps and searching for those updates and receiving calls and pulling for SIM card signal and stuff like that, connecting to Wi-Fi, updating statistics in the background, updating events like locations and whatever. There are tons of processes running on your device and it's actually quite obvious that this happens. If you go here on privacy and you go here to analytics and improvements, analytics data, you can see a lot of the crashes and analytics and stuff that happened on the device. You can see lots and lots of activity in here that weren't even able to see. You can see, for example, when something crashed, when counters get reset, when a low battery event is happening, when an application is draining too much memory and it's forced to shut down and stuff like that, it creates a panic in here. So the reason you should turn off your phone for at least five minutes every day is so that the applications, the programs that run on iOS get to be terminated, get to restart again by restarting your phone. Because the more you leave a program open, if it has memory leaks, and chances are it has, because programmers are not machines, they don't program in the perfect way, the more you leave a program open, it will eventually start to create memory leaks and to consume more and more and more memory, which could result in lag, which could result in that program creating a lot of temporary files or errors, overheating your phone, draining your battery, maybe maintaining active internet connections that it doesn't need because it keeps trying to do stuff. So when you reboot your phone or when you turn it off, you actually kill all the programs that are running on the phone and you restart them, giving them a fresh start, which gives them the ability to fix the issues they had when they got stuck. And if you do that every day, you keep your phone as fresh as possible. It doesn't even have to be five minutes. It could just be one or two minutes. It's enough for the programs to restart. So that's why. At first, for security reasons, because this would kill also a possible malware, a possible virus lurking on your device as an active process. It would get killed as well. So you would have have to get reinfected in order for it to be reactivated again, but also the normal programs that run on iOS. But yeah, I would definitely advise you to do that at first for the security risks that are available nowadays, but then also to keep your phone fresh and fast and snappy because the processes will get restarted and that indeed helps the device to recover from memory leaks and stuff like that. So definitely do that. Thank you for watching. I am GS Now. Till the next time, peace out.